All right, and uh, finally we're going to talk about the explode function. Basically, it's the exact opposite of go figure, the implode function. All right, so implode, excuse me, implode, remember, actually takes array items and it will implode them into a single string that just has uh, each array item separated by uh, a pattern that we designate, okay? Explode is different. It's going to take an actual string and it's going to separate the pieces of the, of the string based on a repeating pattern that it, it's going to find and it's going to uh, take that separation, it's going to look at it as like what we call a delimiter and um, it's going to put each separate piece into an array item. So for instance Let's take a look at this up here. We haven't looked at this um, array yet, or excuse me, at this string yet, um, this variable called URL. So you can see how maybe um, a URL pathway would be something that would lend itself very well to the um, explode function, where you can grab a URL from uh, maybe a current page and you can explode that URL into an array so that you can learn some stuff about maybe where you are in that current website for instance. All right? And that helps a lot, like you can write navigation that uh, works you know, based on this principle. You can do all sorts of things. You can do page styling um, that's based on your current location in a browser and so forth. All right? so, or in a website and so on. So Let's take a look at the URL uh, string and we're going to do an implode of that. So we're going to go, um, excuse me, we're not going to echo it. We can't echo it because we're actually going to put it into an array. So let's, we're going to assign a new variable. Let's uh, say um, path. Okay. Um, so the, the pathway or the path variable is going to equal explode. Okay, and for explode, what we're going to do here is state the pattern that's going to be the delimiter or the separator. So in this case, it's going to be the forward slash, comma, and then we're going to state the string that we want to affect, and that was called URL. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. And now what we want to do is we want to look, we want to inspect the array. So let's do a print R function on it. So we'll go print R and we'll do a print R of path. Okay, we'll save that, go back here and uh, we'll do a refresh. And of course I didn't separate it. Let's go ahead and wrap the pre-tags around it anyway. Um, so We'll also put our uh, line breaks. Let's copy this. And we're also going to go ahead and put the pre tags around our print R. And we'll do an echo pre. Oops, I forgot my. Uh, double uh, quote mark. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and end pre. Save that and now let's look at it. There, that's a little bit better. Okay, so what this is doing is it's breaking it down into distinct uh, directories. Uh, so this in fact would be the domain. Um, this would be the, the first level directory down, second level directory down, third down, and the actual file itself. Okay, so this is a uh, this is kind of a cool thing that you can do.